Hello guys, this is Justin Bibeled and welcome to this episode of Don't Panic, It's Organic. For example, your furan. Okay, furan. Your furan is an example of an hetero at a heterocyclic aromatic compound because it has oxygen. It is an hetero atom. Okay, your furan. So we will test the aromaticity. Is it cyclic? Correct. That is cyclic. Planar. Correct. That is planar. You have your carbon sp2 here. That is planar. That is of the p there. P orbitals there is actually perpendicular to the ring. That is planar. Conjugated. Conjugated. So this is conjugated here. But the electron, is it conjugated? Remember, your oxygen has two lone pairs. So we will test first the Huckel's rule. Okay? We will first test the Huckel's Remember, the Huckel's pi electrons should be 6, 10, 14, so on and so forth. So you have 2 and you have 2 that is 4. Okay? Remember, your oxygen has two lone pairs. So, therefore, one lone pair should be found inside the ring to stabilize the ring. So, that this ring should be an aromatic ring. Okay? So, that you have another 2 pi electrons there that becomes a 6 pi electrons which follows the, the Akel's rule. And, therefore, that is now conjugated because this is what we call the the localized lone pair which is which is actually part to stabilize the ring then it will undergo conjugation how about the remaining lone pair of oxygen it will be outside the ring very good remember there are two lone pairs of your oxygen one lone pair is the localized lone pair which is actually used to stabilize the ring and the other one is the localized lone pair which is not part of the conjugation or not part of the delocalization through conjugation. Did you understand? Very good. Okay, some aromatic compounds also contains a negative charge or a positive charge on its ring. Okay, there are carbons, you have carbon ion and you have also carbon cation or carbon anion okay carbon anion is a carbon with a negative charge with an extra electrons two pi electrons if it is a negative charge then it contains two pi electrons okay if it is a positive charge then it contains an empty pi electron that is no pi electron is present there okay but also it is actually part of the delocalization through conjugation okay both negative uh, charge or you have your carbon anion and you have your carbon cation or positive charge can undergo delocalization through conjugate conjugation the only difference is that if it is a carbon with a negative charge it contains an extra two pi electrons while a carbon with a positive charge has no pi electron that is only their difference but both of this carbon, it could be positive or a negative, can undergo delocalization through conjugation. Okay? So like for example, if you have cyclopentadiene cation. Okay. Your cyclopentadiene cation. Okay. Still, this one here, this carbon is actually positive okay so therefore there is, there is no extra uh pi electrons that is present there okay so no no pi electrons that is present here okay however this will also undergo uh conjugation this will also undergo conjugation as what i have said this will also be undergo conjugation there then you have conjugation here. but i will not i will not first discuss if this is aromatic or anti-aromatic okay Okay, I, I just show you that that the carbon cation here can also be delocalized. But remember, it has no extra pi electron. Okay, because this is a cation. 
while your cyclopropadiene anion, you have your carbon there, which is a negative, then you have your extra 2 pi electron here. Okay, this will also be delocalized. That will delocalize also, and that will also be delocalized. Okay, so I will not first discuss if this is uh, aromatic or non-aromatic. Okay. Okay, remember your Huckel's rule. If n is equal to 1, then that would be 6. Okay? But if n is equal to 0, that would be 2. Okay? So, the Huckel's rule of pi electron should be 2, 6, 10. Then you have your 14. Ah, is it 14? Yeah, 14. 2, 6, 10, 14. Then you have your 18 already. So, that is your uh, 4n plus 2 for Huckel's rule for aromatic. Okay? So, this is now. So, how do we determine if a, site, uh, if a compound is aromatic, anti-aromatic, or non-aromatic? Okay. If this is aromatic, as what I have discussed earlier, this should be cyclic. This should be planar or sp2 hybridized. That should be conjugated. And very important, it should attain or it should follow the Huckel's rule of 4n plus 2. The only difference for aromatic and anti-aromatic is the Huckel's rule. Okay. So, as what I have discussed for aromatic, that should contain 2, 6, 10, you have 14, and 18 of pi electrons. For anti-aromatic, that is 4n. Okay? So, if n is equal to 1, that should be 4. If n is equal to 2, that should be 8. If n is equal to 3, that should be 12. So, these are the number of pi electrons. Okay? Because there are actually uh, cyclic compounds that are actually planar. They are actually conjugated, but their pi electrons is, a, is only 4n of pi electrons. And therefore, that is not aromatic, but they should be considered as anti-aromatic. Okay. For non-aromatic, by convention, if the compound is not cyclic, then automatic, that is non-aromatic. If a compound, compound is not planar, then automatic, that is not non-aromatic. And if a compound is not conjugated, then automatic, that is non-aromatic. Okay? That is only by convention. Okay? More on that example. So, example. You have your pyrrol. So, I, I already discussed pyrrol. Okay? Is it cyclic? Yes. Okay? Cyclic, that is yes. Planar, correct. Conjugated, yes, because of the formation of your delocalized LP. Delocalized lone pair. That is part of the conjugation. This will also delocalize. That will delocalize. Okay. Lone pair is DLP. DLP is your lone pair. Akel's rule, you have your 6 pi electron. So therefore, this will, this is, this will uh, uh, follow the 4n plus 2 Akel's rule. Then therefore, your pyrrole is aromatic. Okay. That is aromatic. Why is it 6 pi electrons? You have your 2. And you have your another 2. And that 2 is coming from your DLP. Okay, that becomes 6 pi electrons. Okay, next. Pyridine, I already discussed that. Okay. So, let's just review it. Cyclic. Correct, that is cyclic. Planar. Of course, that is planar. Conjugated, of course, there are actually carbon to carbon single double bonds there. Or alternating double single, double single. Lone pair is localized lone pair. That is LLP. Remember, your nitrogen, the lone pair of your nitrogen is not part of the uh, conjugation to the localization because the ring system was already stabilized with the Huckel's rule of 4n plus 2. So it follows the 4n plus 2. How many? By electrons, you have two, you have two here, and you have also two there that becomes six pi electrons. Okay, so therefore your lone pair should not be part to stabilize the ring system, it should be found outside the ring, so that becomes the localized lone pair. And this is automatic aromatic. Okay, that is aromatic. Very good. Cyclopropadiene and ion. Okay. This is now the challenge. 
So you can pause this video if you want. Okay? If you can try to answer this. Is it cyclic? Yes. Is it planar? Yes. Conjugated? Yes. Remember your uh, carbon and ion can also participate in conjugation. Okay. Okay. Lone pairs. Actually, there is actually lone pair here for carbon. There's actually an extra lone pair. This is only true for carbon with with a negative charge. While for carbon with a positive charge, there is no lone pair. Okay? A carbon with a positive charge, no lone pair. A carbon with a negative charge, there is a lone pair. The lone pair of that carbon is DLP. Okay? It should be DLP. The lone pair of that carbon. It should be used to stabilize the ring because if, if, it, if it will not be used to stabilize the ring, then therefore, your, this carbon or this, there will be no conjugated or there will be no conjugation if this will not be part of the stabilization of the ring. Okay, there will be no conjugation. So that's why your, dog, uh, your, your lone pair there should be, should be part of the ring. Okay, so that there will be the localization of electrons and it should be conjugated. Hackel's rule, how many pi electrons you have two then you have also two pi electrons coming from your negative that becomes four Hackel's rule is the four n rule this is four n rule okay this is a four n rule because you have only four pi electrons okay remember the four n plus two you have your two six ten fourteen for four n that is four eight uh four eight twelve okay so therefore, this is not aromatic. This is what we call the anti-aromatic. So cyclopropadiene and ion is anti-aromatic. Okay, that is anti-aromatic. Okay, next. Cyclopentadiene cation. Okay, cyclic, of course, that is cyclic. Correct. Planar, correct. Conjugated, okay, your, your carbon there, which has, contains an empty pi electrons, will also be part of the conjugation. Lone pair is, there are no lone pairs. Okay, because it is a cation, so no lone pair. Hackel's rule, you have your 2 and 2, you have your 0 pi electrons there, that is 4, so therefore this will follow 4 and so, this is actually anti-aromatic. So, therefore, cyclopentadiene is anti-aromatic. Okay? That is anti-aromatic. Cyclobutadiene. Okay. Cyclic? Yes. Planar? Yes, conjugated, of course. It is conjugated. You have your delocalized here, delocalized there. Lone pairs, no lone pairs. Hackel's rule, you have 2 and 2. That is becomes 4 pi electrons. So it will follow the 4n electron uh, Hackel's rule. So therefore, this is anti-aromatic. So that is anti-aromatic. Okay, you can pause this video if you want. To answer that, so you have your cyclo octadiene and ion. Okay, uh, this is an anion, so you have your elect two electrons there that is actually used to delocalize. Okay, cyclic, yes. Planar, hmm. You can see this is sp2, 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 sp2. You have also an sp2 but how about this this is already single this is sp3 so therefore this is not planar that is not planar automatic non-aromatic okay remember by convention if it is not cyclic then automatic non-aromatic if it is not planar automatic non-aromatic okay if it is not conjugated automatic non-aromatic 